So if you guys checked your calendars this morning, you will have noticed that it is indeed Friday the 13th. And if you guys don't know what Friday the 13th is in pop culture, it is a very popular horror movie series. They've made like 12 different movies, maybe even 13, I can't even remember. But um, it is a very popular series. It's about a guy named Jason Voorhees, and he was killed as a child. He drowned at Camp Crystal Lake due to the ignorance of his camp counselors, and his mother went crazy on those kids. Uh, that were, you know, the counselors and she killed everybody and then they ended up killing her and now Jason is back for revenge and that is basically the whole plot of the uh, movie series. If you guys have seen him, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, my brother has a massive Jason collection. He's a huge Friday the 13th fan. Even has a full sleeve of Jason Voorhees and Friday the 13th moments on his arm. So huge shout out to Brad, as you guys know him, on Vindication and MDT Live as my partner. And uh, he, he donated all of his figures here for this video and this Friday the 13th WWE action figure setup. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. So we'll start off on the stage right here. And you can see Jason Voorhees with this harpoon gun. And this is actually a testament to a movie moment that actually happened in the movie. I believe it was part three. There was a chick in the distance running away and he was on the dock. And he shot this harpoon gun, and, uh, you know, it went through her eye, I believe. But, uh, yeah, you have Matt Hardy running down the ramp right here from Jason. You know, the harpoon gun about to be released into Matt Hardy's bag. You can see him yelling right there. He's sort of laughing because, he's you know, he's Matt Hardy. He's sort of sadistic. He doesn't really know what he's doing there. But uh, if we come down the front here uh, by the ring, you will see Jason without his mask. And he is choking out Sami Zayn. I tried my best to, you know, get him off the ground, like choking him out in the air. But the neck of figures that these figures are from, they're very, very, the joints get very loose. They're not very, they're very detailed and stuff, and they look great, but the uh, articulation and the posing is sort of difficult. So you see there he is trying to choke out the life out of Sami Zayn right there. If we come down the aisle way near the ramp, or near the ring, my bad. You have Jason right here who has just slit the Universal Champion's Brock Lesnar's throat. And you know what? He's saying you, you got to show up for work, bud. you got to show up for work or I'm going to come kill you. That's what's happening right here. So Brock is getting his neck slit on his knees, begging for mercy as Jason has taken out his anger on Brock Lesnar for not showing up and just, you know, reigning as Universal Champion forever. If we go out in front right here, you will see the Camp Crystal Lake sign. And this is actually a little set that NECA sold separately. And they had a bunch of accessories that came with a sign. It came with the deck, actually, from this harpoon scene that you saw back here. Right here we have Jason looking under the ring. You know, he's looking for more victims of the machete. He doesn't even have a weapon. I guess it doesn't even matter to him because he's just looking for more victims. I guess if he took a look around, like this Jason has from the uh, Nintendo game. Uh, this is actually what he looked like in the video game. That's why he has this uh, colorway right here. But he has turned his attention to the crowd and he's saying, you know what, I can't find anybody out here in the ring. I'm going to go after some people in the crowd. So that's what he's going right there. Cody Rhodes, Dean Ambrose, Brie Bella, all about to get chopped by Jason right there with the machete. And back here, you will see Jason and he is already winding up with his machete about to take it out on the Miz who is on the table. You know, you guess you could say he's strapped down because any conscious person, person or, you know, I guess you could say Miz is unconscious because any conscious person would not just lay there and let Jason do this. So he's about to chop him completely in half, probably even break the table right there. Got zombie looking Jason from part 7 with the chain around his neck. Probably the best version of Jason in my opinion. And uh, he's about to get destroyed right there. If we come into the ring, you will see Jason over Seth Rollins yelling for his life, squirming around. He's got this gigantic staff or uh, pole or whatever you want to say. And he is about to, you know, just stab this javelin into Seth Rollins' face. And, you know, Seth Rollins is doing his best to avoid that. So he's fighting for his life right here, yelling at the top of his lungs. Uh, something tells me that he's probably not going to get out of that one. And just behind here to finish off our setup, we have Kevin Owens who uh, found an axe and put it in Jason's head. You know, he did his best to try to fight off Jason. But uh, you can see the axe is stuck in his head there. And it is not slowing down Jason, so we don't know what Kevin Owens is going to do next. You know, he's trying to run for his life after finding out that that axe did not work. So that pretty much rounds up our WWE action figure setup Friday the 13th edition. I hope you guys did enjoy this setup. It's a little different, but I thought it would be cool since it is Friday the 13th and we had all these Jason figures, you know, that ties into the channel really nice and everything. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've seen the Friday the 13th uh, series, if you know any of the movies and stuff like that that. 
Let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this little one-off video with these horror figures. We also have some uh, cool figures coming in very soon. Elite 60 should be here today, guys, so I should be putting up some reviews for you guys, so definitely be able to look out for that. It'll probably be a double upload day. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you guys did enjoy this little one-off little action figure setup. But subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure-related videos, and I guess Friday the 13th related in this case. And I will see you guys in the next video.